What is up? All right. This is going to be a really cool review because I hadn't purchased these. This was actually lent to me by a friend, and this will be going back to him rather soon. Um, but I did want to give them a full work through before I sent them back. These are, of course, the Ever Ratchet Variations by Gear Infusion. Um, very impressed, to say the least. I, these are smaller than I originally expected. When I looked at the pictures, I didn't realize they would be as compact as they are. I mean, these are very small, yet very functional. So if you're interested, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over each one. This is the original, and this is their newest Ever Ratchet clip. And uh, I hope you will stick around. We'll talk a little bit about some pluses and minuses and go from there. Okay, first one. Let's talk about the original. This was the, the thing that started the whole craze that why you see so many of these on Chinese websites, even though they're not an actual Ever Ratchet, and they probably don't even work very well either. This was a pretty fantastic design uh, created by Gear Infusion. It is not created by anyone else. They are the original makers of it. And the idea here is, of course, if you've never seen this, that it actually provides a ratcheting action for a hex bit, which is pretty cool. And they can store a hex bit inside. They also have slots for wire strippers, bottle openers. There's a pretty sharp edge for opening boxes. There's another hex hole here. There's multiple wrenches here. It's pretty well built in design, which I'm sure is why they copied it. But there's a big difference in quality between this and the cheap knockoffs. I want to emphasize once again, this is an original Ever Ratchet designed by Gear Infusion. Please do not buy the cheapo ones. One, you'll be disappointed because they don't work. And two, do yourself a favor and patronize the people who really created the product in the first place. Okay? Make sure you're doing that. And it's worth it. These are titanium, fantastic little keychain tools. And they, when they did the clip, they just straight up improved it in pretty much every way, including the process they used to make it in the first place. So let's talk about that in the next little section here. All right, the Ever Ratchet clip. Man, did they up the game for sure. First of all, a lot of people just in general don't like rubber bands on their tools. I get that, I understand, and this doesn't need it. And the reason is they have these little lips on all the sides that keep the bit in place. Now, I did notice that when I was fiddling with it, you know, like just kind of messing around, I was able to knock it out. Um, but generally speaking, if I'm not putting my hands on it, I've tried a lot of different ways, I cannot get the bit to come out. So they were successful in creating this without having the elastic bands, which I thought was great. They also, changed the bottle opener, made it a little deeper so that it would actually more effectively work. I haven't tried it, but I've seen other people talk about it and it definitely is an improvement over the original. The other thing to talk about is this bar here, and then let me do that in the next video. So, this bar, not only did they increase the amount of pressure it would take to prevent the bit from twisting, but it now functions in two purposes. It func functions to provide retention for the bit as well as being a ratchet. The one thing I've also noticed and it's not easily um, seen is that the way they've cut out the ever ratchet clip is certainly different. The process they're using is seems to be even more accurate than the original design and it, it, this is the best way I could see to illustrate it. Do you see how close the tolerance is? On this I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit so you, maybe you can see it. The tolerances inside each cutout is pretty phenomenal. They did an incredible job. I think this is going to be way, way harder for people to try to knock off and copy because you're just simply never going to get the level of sophistication that this is. I didn't have any problem getting the bits back in. It's really quite easy. If I have one critique is that I would have liked the retention to be even stronger. I noticed that when you press it down, this moves backwards. And because that's the case, I don't see why you can't extend the lip uh, that is holding in the bit just a little bit more. I'm not saying make it deeper, like going more into the cavity, but I would like to see it come out about maybe to this same center point here. It's going to make it harder to get in and get out, 
But I'm okay with that personally. The last thing I want to have happen is to lose half of my functionality because it falls out. Now maybe that's just me being paranoid, but I would like that. But it's not necessary. It's clearly working as intended. And I also have to say that there's something about the way they've done the edges here. These are look like they would be sharp, but they're actually not. So I was concerned these might like cut up the pockets, but it turns out it was an overstatement. One of the issues that I've heard from things like the Griffin Pocket Tool is that the edges are actually too sharp and they actually can rip up pockets and so on. But I don't feel the same sort of edge that I do in some of the tools like the Griffin Pocket Tool, etc. And because of that, I wonder if it would have been better to actually come back here and sharpen this up, this corner up a little bit so that it made it better to open boxes. But I would rather have to do that than to have to file down every edge here. So because of that, I'm really, really impressed. And the pocket clip or the clip is excellent. And the fact that it turns in and becomes part of this, this is just the right width to actually fit on a... Um, belt loop and because of that it actually is very secure it actually you have to turn it sideways and then move this way in order to get out just really well thought out design I, I'm really impressed I'll probably end up picking one up, one up myself got a little lengthy but I just want to say very much to thank you for letting me play with these awesome tools I'll certainly be picking up the Everatchet clip I'm very impressed with this one uh, the 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 Everatchet itself is designed for even more torque They've just really just upped the game in every way you can imagine. So thank you again, and uh, I hope this was something that people enjoyed and that they could see the incredible progress that Gear Infusion has made on their products.